Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be creating a Kylo Ren mask in crochet, which is part of my favorite movie saga, Star Wars. To create a Kylo Ren crochet mask is a little bit complicated because of the fact that black yarn is difficult to work with. Everybody knows that black yarn is difficult to see, especially in poorly lighted places. So if you are gonna try to work with black yarn, I will suggest you wait for the morning or you have a good source of light so you don't get cross-eyed with it. The other thing is that it doesn't show my progress too much in the video. It takes me about two hours to create a basic adult size crochet hat. I normally make them with a half double crochet and a six millimeters hook or a J hook. I do have a hard time remembering what size belong to what letter with American hooks. I love the Beatles. That's a good way of spending time crocheting and listening to good music. In regards to a hook swatch, I think it's important to consider it in order to achieve different sizes. The tension and also how thick the yarn is makes a big difference in your work as you're creating a hat. To create hats, I have a basic pattern that I do in a spiral shape, so I don't have joints when I finish rounds. For a kid's size, I normally make them with an H hook, so the work is tighter. I also add one or two stitches to the beginning ring. My standard is 10, but if the person is bigger in the head size, I add one or two stitches to the beginning. The increases become exponential, so when you add two stitches at the beginning, you'll end up with 12 more stitches at the end, which can make a couple of inches of size difference. These 12 added stitches can be a different number depending on the repetitions and increases you make per round. To keep my sanity, I weave all in all the ends as I go, instead of waiting until the end. It can be annoying sometimes, but it is easier this way and not do it all at once. In order to create my hat, especially with the Star Wars ones, I do consider the fact that I want the hat to look like a helmet. Therefore, I hide the ribbing and I work on top of the hat with front post half double crochet. This technique is used in surface crochet, which is a kind of crochet that has a lot of texture. All of my masks have the front part detachable because I don't live in a cold climate. I'm originally from Guatemala and now I live in Texas. So I am not sure how comfortable it is to wear something on your face for a long time. This section is to show how to start a row or round without a beginning chain or a chainless stitch. First, you wrap your round around the hook and you make your stitch as normal. Some years ago, I tried to make a pattern for this hat and after I had sold some, I realized it had many mistakes and therefore I haven't been able to offer it. I'm better at creating and explaining than actual writing of patterns, especially when my hats are so complex and it's difficult to find testers for them. I like to make realistic hats, so if you have an idea of a hat you will want me to create, drop a comment below and let me know. In my Instagram account, you can see some of my work and also you can find it on Facebook. Just look for my little chapina in the platform.
this hat is actually not that difficult to make. It's just that one needs to keep in mind where the stitches lay and how to build the front mask, which is a series of stitches that can be mistaken and therefore you will miss the shape you want. In making the lines on top of the hat, we need to make sure that these lines are even looking. Once I tried making the lines with a shimmery yarn, like the pattern's metallic yarn, but the yarn is weird in the sense that it runs with anything pointy that touches it, so it becomes very hairy. Instead of using this yarn, I've gotten great results with the Caron Simply Soft yarn. It's soft and it has a shimmery texture. It makes these lines well defined. useful to use a styrofoam head in order to place the items in the hats I make. It's a safe way of making sure your elements will be in the right place and you can use sewing pins to place them. Then you can whip stitch all in place. One of the things that can be tricky about this hat is the hand-sewn parts, like the wiggly lines on both upper ends of the mask. To finish up, I aligned the mask and the helmet. Then, I added some hooks and a button with a hidden loop on top. Guys, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and thumbs up my video and share it in social media. Please leave a comment below to tell me what other hat you want me to make next in a time lapse and I'll see you next time.